wait. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited about this video because if you've been watching my videos recently, it's no secret that I have been loving the Laura Geller powder foundation, the baked balance and brighten foundation specifically. Wow, this has been my go-to. I just barely mentioned it in my June favorites video. I did a full review on it. So I will have both of those videos linked down below. Right when I posted my review video, I had no idea this was gonna happen, but Laura Geller had like a friends and family sale where their entire site was 40% off. And a lot of you guys were commenting like, hey, there's a sale. I know a lot of you actually picked up this foundation, which is really exciting. And I've heard a couple people say that they really enjoy it. So that makes me happy. Um, but I decided to go back on and place another order to try more products from the brand. Cause honestly, I haven't tried that much. A lot of you guys said to try their primers and some other shades of the blushes. Cause I tried a blush shade that was just a little too light for me. It was more of like a highlighter in my opinion. So I actually bought two of the Spackle Skin Perfect perfecting primers. It was really great that they had a 40% off sale um, right when I kind of was getting excited about this brand. And by the way, I know this brand has been around for so long. I just don't know why I haven't tried it ever. And I know some of you guys said you really like these Spackle primers. So I didn't get the original one. I got the Hydrating and then the Ethereal Rose Glow. Those were just the ones that intrigued me most. Then I wanted to pick up some more blushes. So I got two more shades of the Marbleized blush. This one is in pink grapefruit, which so many people commented saying that it's like your favorite blush. Like people said it was their holy grail blush. So as soon as I saw that in the comments on that review video, I was like, say no more. I'm gonna try this because you guys said so. And then I picked out this one on my own. This one is called Starfish Island. I was looking through and this one says it has a natural finish. So I don't think it's as shimmery. I will open these up and show you what they look like. But yeah, I definitely feel like they're gonna be more visible as blushes versus the first shade that I picked up, which was still gorgeous by the way, but definitely more of like a blush topper if anything. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this one right here is pink grapefruit, which is everyone's holy grail. This one right here is the one I chose, which was Starfish Island. And you can see this one's definitely more shimmery. This one's a little bit more on like the matte side. There's definitely still a sheen to it. I'm excited to try these. Whoa, as I drop it, ah, there we go. Luckily it didn't fall all the way on the floor. And then I picked up the baked original highlighter because I heard a couple of you guys say their highlighters were really good. So this is the um, Split Compact Duo. And I got the shade French Vanilla and French Kiss. So apparently this is divided down the center. Oh, it's a little bit off center, <laughs> but there's two colors in here. So that's what we're gonna be playing with today. I am excited. So we're gonna start off with the Spackle Primer. I'm gonna go in with the hydrating one first, all over the face. I have to prime the pump since this is brand new. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. There we go. So the texture looks kind of like a lotion based off my first impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over. It doesn't have fragrance, which is nice. It just feels like a really rich, hydrating moisturizer. I wonder if it will dry down at all. That feels really good on the skin. It actually has a little bit of like a cooling feeling to it, which is nice. Ooh, I really like that. Then we're gonna try out the original Ethereal Rose Gold. So this one's supposed to have like a luminous finish. Hopefully it's not too deep. Here we go again, priming the pump. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, it doesn't look deep at all. And we're gonna layer that right on top of the hydrating, but on like the outsides of the face. Ooh, you know what? I was expecting like full on glitter, honestly. And this is just beautiful, like dewy glass skin. Oh wow, look at that. <gasps> That's so pretty. Okay, I am assuming that these primers work well under the powder foundations. I'm gonna give them a second to sit and kind of dry down before I try to go in with my powders. Actually, while we wait, I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer for underneath the eyes. This is how I've been applying the powder foundation recently. So I will literally just do a swipe underneath the eyes and then blend that out with my sponge. By the way, that was the Makeup Forever, what's this one called? Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer, and I have the shade 12. Okay, so now that that's blended out, I'm just gonna take a little bit of a translucent powder. This one is from Ciate, and I'm just gonna set that, and that way when I apply the powder foundation, it will just blend over top of those edges. 
a lot easier. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this foundation. If you didn't watch my favorites video, I have been mixing two shades. I mix the shades porcelain and fair. If I had to choose one, I would actually at the moment choose porcelain because I feel like it's easier to deepen up a shade with bronzer than it is to try to make a deeper shade work. But the two shades together really are a perfect match for me. I almost wish they would have something just right in the middle. But I'm just gonna take my ColourPop F29 brush and I'm just gonna press that into the skin. Once it's like pressed, I do like to buff it slightly. I'm gonna go across the nose. It does seem to be going on top of those speckle primers nicely. Like my skin feels a little bit grippy and hydrated, but it's not too hydrated to where the powder feels like it's sticking, if that makes sense. Okay, and then once I have a pretty good base all over the face, I like to take that same foundation on a more dense small brush. This is the JH08 brush from Morphe. And I'm gonna take that foundation again, mixing both shades, and I'm just gonna press a little more over top of the areas that I want more coverage. So on this blemish, and you'll see like you can really pinpoint the coverage, which is great. And it still looks very natural, it never cakes up. I'm gonna take a little of what's left and apply it to the eyelids just to cancel out any redness there. Next, I'm gonna take the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten Bronzer in the shade Fair. This is not something that I just barely bought. This is something that I bought in that very first order, but it's such a pretty bronzer. It definitely has more of a luminous finish to it, so just something to be aware of. But I think that luminosity really contributes to the overall healthy, look that this entire line has given me so far. So I'm just blending that out all over. I am gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just kind of buff the edges of the bronzer just to make sure it's not too overdone. I think I wanna try out this highlighter next. So let's see what it says on the back. So this is again, two shades in one. Apparently these two shades are some of their best-selling shades. It says it's a low glow highlighter, so it's not gonna be over to the top, like it literally says on the back, all glow, no glitter, which I'm into, because you guys know I don't love a, a glittery highlight, so I'm gonna see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and start building this up. Ooh, <gasps> wait, look at that. Would you look at that? <gasps> it really is just glowy. I'm gonna put a little down the center of the nose, on the cupid's bow, above the brow. Oh, wow. I'm gonna press that in with my sponge just to see if I can get it even more natural looking. <gasps> I like that. I'm all about like a no glitter highlight for every day especially. It's very, very subtle, but I really like that a lot. Okay, let's try out the blush. We've got to try pink grapefruit, I feel like for sure. So I'm gonna take my blush brush and dip into this. The only thing with these products, they do get pretty dusty because of the baked formula, so. It's a little messy, honestly, sometimes, but that's all right. All right, uh, let's try this. Okay, I'm gonna smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Okay, so this is more of like a toasty color and it's definitely very luminous. Okay, I feel like I went a little overboard here. So I'm gonna take a little more of the foundation just to make sure the edges are blended. Okay, I feel like that's really pretty. It's definitely not an over the top kind of a blush color. I can see why people would love it for every day. It just looks like you're maybe a little bit sun-kissed. It's not too much at all. I am gonna pop on a little bit of the Starfish Island color. Look how pretty. Like, tell me that's not just gorgeous. I love the marbling on these products. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna focus this a little higher on the cheeks. Okay, so yeah, these definitely show up more than that first blush that I tried. Ooh, that's pretty too. I like the rosiness that that one has. I'm just doing the same thing, kind of blending out the edges. Okay, I'm gonna quickly fill my brows. I'm gonna use my Milani Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Okay, brows are filled. Let's do a quick eye look. I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer we were using and apply that in the crease. And then I actually feel like the pink grapefruit blush would make a really pretty eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take that and tap it onto the lids. It kind of has a coppery hue to it. And then I'm gonna take a little more bronzer just to define the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take that highlight, which since it's a little more of a subtle highlight, I'm not sure if this will really show as an inner corner highlight, but we're gonna try. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Ooh, how pretty. 
I'm gonna take what's left and just sweep it under the brow bone. I'm gonna quickly pop on some mascara. I'm gonna use my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. Okay, I actually love that pink grapefruit blush on the eyes. It's a really pretty like almost corally color once it's like really built up like that on the eyes. I really like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that's on the lips. I really wanna try one of the new Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I bought these and they finally came in the mail and I really wanna wear one. Ooh, that's pretty. This is the shade Dance Card. It's like more of a peach. Then we have the shade Rose Official, which could also be pretty. And then I bought the shade Kitten Mischief which that one looks like it'll match. I think I'm just gonna go with Kitten Mischief. Maybe I should line the lips first. I'm gonna line with the Pat McGrath Supernatural Lip Liner, which has a little bit of like a burnt peach hue to it, which I think really complements that eyeshadow or blush, I should say. And let's apply the shade Kitten Mischief right over top, which is a little more pink, but I think that looks really good together actually. Okay, I'm just gonna blend the two together with my finger. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little more bronzer. We are assessing the situation. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of what's left on that foundation brush and make sure the cheeks don't look too overdone right here. I made this same mistake, if you wanna call it that, in the first round of trying these luminous blushes because I have larger pores here. So if I apply them too close to this, the sheen in them kind of emphasizes everything. So I need to remember to apply them a little further back. But overall, I feel like everything's looking pretty nice. So we're gonna go ahead and set the face. I'm gonna take the Benefit Professional Super Setter. I saw both Patrick Ta, I think. Yeah, I think it was Patrick Ta and Tati talk about this. So I wanted to give it a go. The mist on it is very fine. And it smells good. I'm gonna go ahead and press that in with my sponge. You know what, I feel like I want a little gloss, even though this lip is slightly glossy. I actually picked up one of the glosses from the Lisa Eldridge new collection, and this is the shade Songbird. Look how pretty. I just wanna layer that in the center. These glosses are so comfortable. They feel more like a lip balm. So pretty, okay. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my brows with my trusty Benefit Brow Setter. You know what I kinda wanna do? I'm gonna take that other blush called Starfish Island, I wanna kinda of add that in the crease a little bit, just to bring in a little more of uh, like a pink into the crease. Yeah, I feel like that looks really nice. Well, friends, I must say, I'm really glad that I, first of all, discovered this foundation, which again, I know is not a new foundation, but it's new to me and I am loving it right now. And I'm so glad that the friends and family sale was going on because it allowed me to like take the leap even further into this brand and try out some more products, which I really love how they look. I'm noticing a theme among all the products. It's just very easy to use, very natural, but also very luminous and glowy and just overall healthy looking. That's how I feel about my complexion. I feel like the um, spackle primers were super nice and they feel great on the skin. It helped the powders not feel too dry. I never feel like this powder foundation feels dry anyway, but that kind of helped add a little bit more of an added boost of hydration. I think both of them felt really nice, obviously with a primer. I'm gonna have to see how it wears with other foundations in my routine to really see if it helps with longevity or anything like that. But as far as the feeling of it, the texture and the finish and then how it made my skin look at the end, really Really excited about these. I'm really glad that I picked them up. Let's talk about the blushes that we picked up. So I definitely see why so many people love the pink grapefruit shade. It's a really beautiful flattering color. I personally feel like I could use a little bit more of a tan, maybe if I have a self tan on, um, to be able to make this work at its full capacity. Um, I definitely, again, would make sure to apply it closer to the outside of the cheeks because this one is pretty luminous, so just something to take note of. But how stunning is it as an eyeshadow? I know that's not how it was meant to be used maybe, but really love how flattering that color is on the eyes. I think it really created an easy, effortless, monochromatic type look. This shade was also beautiful. I'm excited to try this by itself to see how it compares as far as the finish goes. Let me kind of build this up on the back of my hand to see. Okay, so that one does have a little bit of a luminosity as well. Let me swatch the pink grapefruit next to it. So that one definitely has a little more, it seems like. Well, 
Yeah, that one definitely has a little more sheen, but this one has one too. You can tell this one is a lot more of a rosy pink and this one is like a toasty peach. I'm excited to keep using those. I will say though, from personal experience, just be aware of where the placement is on the cheeks if you have larger pores in the T-zone like I do. That's the only thing that like, I'm not loving about the formula, but it's totally my fault, you know? Like I could be more cautious about where I apply the blushes. The highlighter, you guys, like it's very subtle. It's a very soft sheen, but that's why I really like it, especially for every day. It has zero glitter, just like it claimed. It's so soft and buttery, but blends out beautifully. I am very thrilled about this for an everyday situation. Um, yeah, it's nothing blinding, but honestly, I think that's why I like it so much. So that was probably my favorite thing that I picked up and then I'm really excited about the primers. I'm really excited to keep playing with the blushes too. Yeah, I'm just into this brand right now for every day, especially just like quick, easy, effortless looks. That's what I'm getting from this brand. I would love to hear in the comments if there's anything else that I am missing out on from Laura Geller. I would love to know if there's something else that you guys think I need to pick up. I was looking at a lot of their stuff on their site, but I just didn't really know where to start. They have like lip products that looked really interesting. Um, a lot of other complexion products as well. So if you guys wanna see me keep trying out products from this brand, leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite products are from Laura Geller or if there's something that you wanna see me review, even if you haven't tried it, let me know. So far so good. I mean, I'm definitely still the most head over heels about the foundation as far as everything goes in this line that I've tried, but I'm excited to see what other products stick in my routine. Maybe something will stick the way that this has recently, so. Yeah, I really love how things turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I would love to hear from you guys on if you picked up this foundation and what you have been thinking about it. So be sure to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.